in today's video this is how i wired my fndc outback flex net dc this is the uh device that's responsible for the state of charge for your battery to see what's going on so i'm mounting on my old box here you guys already seen this on my uh my improvised is a video so it's an improvised pvc box where i had the um the um the Magnusign ME ARC mounted here for the uh, Magnum, the remote. That's the remote. And uh, I used the Outback Mate 2 on this one. And you can see, let me show you. This is the box and this is how I caught it. This is where the Mate 2 was and this is the ME ARC for the Magnusign. So I decided to incorporate this instead of wasting the box. I decided to mount it, my Mate 3, on the same PVC box. I have two of them, but I don't want to waste it. I want to make sure I just um, uh, improvise something and uh, save the box for next project for another time. So this is what I did. I end up incorporated the box in here, which is the FNDC FlexNet DC. It is responsible for state of charge, as you see right there. It's a blinking if charge parameter met. So, guys, this is how I uh, went about it. And this is how everything set up at this point. And um, I'm going to be putting a, a gutter just like this one. It's going to be coming all the way down here. For, for my wire management, it's going to stay there and come to this place. So I'm trying to get all the wires all uh, situated really good and it can be any trouble for me. But uh, guys, I want to just show you this is how I install my FNDC. So let's fire it up and came all the way here and get connected to my, my shunt, uh, 50 millivolts. And 500 millivolt, 500 amps here, and 50 millivolts on this one. The load and the battery. So it has a fuse on it, and it came all the way down here. Positive. You can see an indication here. A positive is a red wire. Negative is a black wire, and it comes here. So I use the uh, green thick wire, a green thick for the negative. And the white and the sh uh, and white and green strip on uh, on that one on this one to be the pause at the shunt. That's gonna be the load side, the white and green. So guys, this is how I mount my system. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fire up the uh, breaker to see um, what we're gonna be having here. Like I said, this is the guy that was here before, and this is the May two. This is the May three. Look the difference. And it has a lot of uh, features that is unbelievable. And um, guys, uh, this thing can only stay here. And this is how it is. This one came out with the uh, Magnum One remote. And this one is up. So let's power up the device and all everything is shut off. And turn the main thing. We'll see. I didn't shut off the breaker for all the other stuff. I will just kill the main switch. So if you see right here, supposed to be seen, there's a light on it. It's just because of the flash. And see how am I gonna see if I can cover this? No, it's not gonna work with my finger on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see? Okay, there we go. You can see the lights are on there. So now what we're going to do, we have to go back here and try to see if we can enable the shunt. And it's going to tell us uh, shunt 1, shunt 2, or shunt A, B, and C. Stay tuned. You press the lock button and you put your password for Outback is 141. And, uh, whoops. My one hand thing. And uh, enter. So doing so, 
we can able to go all the way to settings here. Battery monitor. Enter. And we're going to shunt enable. So shunt A is unable already over there. So it's right there, yes. Uh, okay. It's enable. Okay. And let's see here. Gotta go put a battery. Right now our battery bank right now our battery bank is 130 132 but um our back can only go in tens. It doesn't go like uh 32, 33, so it goes in tens. So 150, 140. okay 130 so this is just the nissan leaf i have there i haven't connected all the the rest of the batteries just to make sure it works so when the shunt was in there this uh feature right here is all blank okay so now it says about 85 percent so i have to uh return i have to charge back return the charge which is a 26.6 amps back to the battery to get it full that's what it's trying to tell me so right now it's not going to be um, super accurate till the batteries are charged. So now we set that parameter and uh, see how we go back here. So this is um, how you set up your FNDC and um, everything is already set up. We don't have a relay right now into this. Say FNDC relay mode. We don't have any relay on that one, so we can just leave it the way it is as off. The shunt is already enabled, you guys already seen that. So you say yes, so only activate shunt A. If you look at the, the green one, is the one that is activated, it has a wire on it. So, guys, I think this is all done. And uh, we can go back here and see if we can turn the AC to see how this thing charge. All right. Let's turn our AC power on. Stay tuned for this. Right now, we already plug in the AC. You see the AC indicator right there is flashing. So we're going to be charging the batteries to get a correct state of charge to replace whatever the... Uh, meter was telling us 26.6 amps back to the batteries then after this one is all set up clean up everything here then i can just see that we put in 1.4 kilowatts charging and after i clean up everything then i can come back and show you guys how everything is working in monitor well we just kill another minutes about nine minutes again here at a JW Solar USA live in Minnesota and this is how you connect a FNDC for your Outback power systems to monitor your system your off-grid or grid tie solar system all right take care guys and I love you guys as always uh, stay tuned for more to come live from this channel bye for now FNDC FlexNet DC from Outback power, power systems I would put the cover back on so that you guys can see how everything looks like. You can see the light is flashing and it says what here? If uh, it's blinking, see that? So the parameter is not met yet, so that's why it's blinking. All right, guys, this is how the cover looks like. I'm just going to clean up these wires and put my 
um, gutters right there, just like the top one there. Everything's gonna be clean and nice. So guys, you, I can tell from the inside, I can able to see the state of charge now. Look at the lights there. I can read. This is why I utilize this box for transparency. I, it's transparent so I can able to see. I don't have to worry about. Now everything is embedded in there. Look at it. I think it's a clean, clean setup when I clean up all the wires. Stay tuned and have a wonderful day. Take care. Live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Bye for now.